Hello, a great welcome to Idea Statica tutorial. Myself Jarajan P. This is tutorial number three. Here I will demonstrate how to model and design a beam to CHS column shear connection using film plate arrangement. So let us start Idea Statica tutorial number three. So let us start with a blank project. So let us fill up the parameters. Here I will write down parking structure and the description I will write down say CHS column to beam shear connection okay and the material will select it as S275 and the bolt assembly we can change to M20 okay and the concrete grade will uh, keep the same will not change it and the design code is taken as your code 3 so let us create the project So let us start adding the column as well as the B members plus uh, the manufacturing operations. So first we will add the column number. So we will choose a CHS that is a circular hollow section. So we will double click here and uh, the CHS will choose it as uh, 244.5 by 12.5 thick. So it is 244.5 by 12.5 thick. Okay. So you can say that this is 244.5 that's 245 is the external diameter and 30 mm is the thickness. Okay. And this is S2 sun 5 material grade. Okay. So obviously we want a column to be a continuous member. And the beta angle we have to the curve we have set it as zero. And the gamma angle, let us keep it as uh, that's a pitch, that's a 90 degree because it's a vertical member, 90 degrees. And uh, the other parameters will keep, keep the same, okay. So we have it as now a vertical member, the column is created. Now let us start generating the B members as a two in numbers, so we'll add member. So here we'll use a UB section. So let us start adding this UB into our profile. So this is our old section, and here uh, we want that uh, we let, it, let us create it for the UB. So scroll down. So this is our UB section, and the UB we have it has 406 by 178. 406 by 178 by 74 so by 74 okay so cross section is defined so obviously this is in alignment with the column we want to, to change it so this is a B member so we want to keep it as an entered connection and uh, the beta member will keep the beta as uh, minus 90 beta as minus 90 and the other gamma will keep it as zero zero and all of the parameters here for example we will keep it as better n vz m y because we won't apply only the shear load and uh, the forces will apply at a calculated distance that is in the position that is defined by that is x is equal to it's a pre-calculated dimension that is at 173 mm 173 so we have defined the member M2 that's a beam connection so we can just rotate it and see how does it look like okay so we can just uh, use this uh, you know magic cube box so this is how okay so we have uh, modeled one beam member in a similar way we will start modeling uh, the other beam member that is uh, M3 so as usual we will add member so we'll start adding a new cross section 
and we'll press over here and uh, we'll add the UB cross section again here so scroll down here the UB cross section and for uh, M3 we'll add a little bit larger cross section that is a, a UB 533 UB 533 we have by 2 ton by 92 2 ton by 92 okay so okay fine and uh, that's all right so obviously we need to adjust the orientation by changing the beta angle so this also intersection and the beta obviously in this case we have to keep it as a 90 degrees 90 degrees and uh, the other parameters so we can say that it is already 10 cap and the other parameters only will change the position here as it's a larger section and with a larger bolt assembly we will keep it the x value as a approximately say it's a pre-capital dimension is a 203 203 that's all right so you can see that we will just do the perspective so you can see that the member uh, dimensions uh, column as well as uh, the B members have been properly modeled now it's a time that we start introducing the so-called manufacturing operations so that we can add into this the fin plate components which are uh, added to realize the shear connection so let us go back to the manufacturing operations so as usual uh, we'll select the fin plate and here in the fin plate the bolts that we choose will be the will be the M20 bolts so okay okay so you can see that here for example if, if I just uh, rotate it you can say that the okay this uh, fin plate it is added on the other side so we'll change all the parameters so that it will uh, it will match our requirements okay so as usual the fin plate has to be added to the member m2 this is the member m2 and the part to be connected is the web one and it has to be connected to m1 s275 and the thickness in this case we will keep it as a, say 10 mm because it's a smaller member so 10 mm and we'll keep it on uh, the rear side so this rear side so you'll find that it has come over this side okay it's a bolter one and the gap will keep uh, it as a 10 mm We'll keep it as a 10 mm, 10 mm, and uh, we'll use the center line as uh, the reference uh, okay axis for the location of the plates. And the overlap in this case will be set as a 90 mm, it is given it as 80, so we'll keep it as a 90 mm the overlap. And uh, the top dimension will keep it as a minus 50, that is to locate our top position minus. 50 and the bottom position in a similar way we locate it as a minus a 73 minus a 73 okay and the notch and the notch offsets okay will keep the same so so as you can see that okay let me take the zoom okay so you'll find that okay this is uh, my fin plate okay so the fin plate is uh, so you can see that it is uh, properly generated and only the dimensions of the fin plate is finalized now let us start to finalizing uh, the bolt configuration so just press bolts so we are using the m20 bolts and the transverse dimension in this case will keep it as minus 35 minus 70 minus 35 minus 70 and uh, LV will keep it zero because we have got only one row of the bolt. And uh, coming to the wells, we'll go for uh, a six mm double sided fillet weld to connect uh, the fin plate to the web. Okay, so, so we have finalized the configuration of the bolts also. So you can just see that. So let, us, let me just turn a little bit to rotate. Okay. So as you can see that the four numbers of bolts are added and our fin plate one assembly is completely defined. 
So let us go for now the film plate 2 that is used for connecting M3 to the CHS. So as usual we will start adding a, a new member operation but this member operation will be the fin plate only but it is a different board configuration so this is a fin plate so obviously this fin, this fin plate is to be connected to this is for the member m3 and it's on web1 as you can see that okay it is already generated here okay the new fin plate is added that is required to realize the m3 connection to the chs so this is connected to m1 as usual material s275 and the thickness will keep a little bit larger that's 12 mm okay and uh, the location will keep the front and the connection type will be the bolted the gap will be 12 mm okay so it can also keep it as a 10 mm gap okay that's good enough so we keep it as a 10 mm 10 mm and the center line dimensions and the overlap in this case as it is a little bit larger connection we will keep it as a the overlap being 150 mm we are using a larger connection because we need to accommodate two rows of bolts and the top we will finalize it as at minus 50 minus 50 and the bottom let us keep it as a minus 123 minus 123 and we will have the notch and now we have realized our uh, the bay, the fin plate for M3 and now it is important that we fix the configuration of the bolts we will use M28.8 bolts and the transverse distance will be kept it as we have got two rows of bolts and we will keep it as a zero and then minus 70 minus 70 and then a minus 70 okay and uh, let us keep that uh, the longitudinal position let us keep it as a minus 30 60 minus 30 60 and other parameters will keep the same and uh, the, the welds as usual will keep it as a 6 mm and uh, we will we will use the same double sided welded so you can see that the fin plate is fully generated okay so let us uh, go for this so this is uh, let us uh, start taking the views so we can use it here Okay, so you can see that it is uh, just okay fine so you can see that this is a fin plate assembly okay we are using a larger fin plate for m3 and a smaller one for m2 so having generated both so please ensure that at this instant that all the components are being correctly connected because any kind of a gap or a, a non-connectivity to any member will cause uh, uh, problems in analysis so at this instant ensure that all all the areas are being properly zoomed to see that all connections are made you know between the various components so let us start now defining uh, the load effects so in the load effects we will just add the load so here we will put so only the shear connection will apply only the shear loads that is the vz so for the small one obviously there is a smaller load so that will keep it as a minus 200 minus 200 and uh, and for m3 we'll keep it as a larger load that's a minus 300 minus 300 okay so as you can see that the loads are already being applied so having applied the loads everything so it is uh, important that we check once again the model and then press the calculate button okay so i have run the model for you so as you can see that the analysis is 100 percent completed and uh, the plate is uh, having a, a plus strain of the order of 0.2 percentage that is acceptable and the board's utility ratio is around 58.8 percentage and the wells as as you can see that it is almost near the wedge of uh, almost near the limit it's a 98 percentage you know fully stressed and uh, the wells are uh, normally the very critical elements in such connections so it's important that we specify properly the well size now, as you can see that uh, this is the plastic strain so this is the distribution of the plastic strain and you can see that here the maximum strain is of the order of 0.2 percentage and uh, here as you can see that if you just zoom it you'll find that there is a concentration of the strains near this bolt okay near the bolt and near the edge of this fin plate okay 
and uh, if you go for if you want to see the stress distribution you can just press the equivalent stress and uh, okay fine so this this shows the stress distribution so let me just rotate it a little bit so that we can see that stress so as you can see that the stresses the critical stresses are uh, in the fin plate very near to the bolt okay very near to the bolt okay the stresses are very critical okay and at the same time regarding the column also we can see that the stresses are critical uh, at the locations at the two ends of this uh, fin plate okay as is clearly indicated by the you know the red color in the kundu distribution here also the same thing has happened so this is the distribution of the stresses and if you are uh, interested in uh, seeing uh, the deformation uh, behavior you can just uh, press the deform button so you can see that uh, yes so this is the deformed position you can see that it has uh, pushed down a little bit down okay and here also this is the deformed position of uh, and you can see that uh, so this is the deformation profile is being enlarged to 40 times the scale so you can see that it is uh, getting skewed the column is getting skewed between these two connections and if you are interested in obtaining the distribution of the forces in the bolts so you can just uh, press this bolts and here you will find that the bolts are getting critical for uh, the small fin plate as is being very clear here so the u to ratio is around 55 percentage for uh, the smaller uh, the bolts in the smaller fin plate and regarding the larger fin plate they have got only a maximum ratio of 4.4 so there's a possibility to reduce the number of bolts that we have designed for uh, the larger beam okay and uh, you can also see the distribution for example if you press the b1 you can see that this is your B1 and uh, the B2, B3, B4 uh, and you can easily identify the critical bolt and for example if you are seeing uh, B10 it is very easy that it B2 belongs to the larger fin plate okay and uh, so if you are uh, confident of the results what we can do is that we can go for the report press the report button start generating the reports So this may take a little bit of a while. So as you can see that this is our report. Okay. So it pro provides you all the beam and column section details here, and there's a connection assembly, and uh, and uh, all the applied loads are being displayed here and uh, the distribution forces and the checks in the various uh, bolts are uh, the plates are given here and uh, we have uh, the checking the overall checking of the connection is displayed here and the distribution of the plastic strains and uh, the tortoises are given here and uh, you can see that the material used is as 275 so that's all so thanks a lot so please again subscribe to the channel because uh, a lot a lot many uh, presentations uh, i think that uh, 10 or 20 are in the are in line so uh, please subscribe so that you will get the notification of the future videos thanks a lot and have a nice day